Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Death of Art. We're in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. This was a, a pioneering place for artists 25 years ago. And in fact, it was one of the worst neighborhoods I ever lived in. Literally, the sidewalks would crunch from walking over crack files. 25 years later, this is actually a gentrified neighborhood. We're here to do a studio visit with Facundo Newberry. He is one of the most interesting people I've ever met. He is a welder, he is a creator, and he does all kinds of things. He's a man of his hands. And we're gonna check out his art. I haven't seen it, and uh, so I'm going in cold. Let's see what we find. I know Facundo from the workplace first. And at one point, I needed a good welder. I had this track record of hiring just assholes. And so I meet this guy, Facundo. I was like, oh, here we go again. And he turned out to be the best welder I ever worked with. And some of his work was artistic. And I'm seeing this now. So I'm, uh, please explain this to me. So these paintings are, they're a little bit talking about uh, what you are, who you are, and the, the, your correlationship with your with you and your environment whatever uh, let's find something uh, this is a gnome and this is here it's one verb right yeah right right in spanish it's two verbs ser i am facundo yeah and estar i am standing here so so that has a you know a, a, an interesting twist to me that, that, that there's this, this thing. So well, it's a different worldview, basically. Yeah. Of, of, of yourself, your being, and exactly. And all that. Yeah. Well, you are where you are, who you are, uh, all that, all these questions that you can bring out of it. So these paintings in here, they're a little bit about this. So this painting, as you see, is a square, and um, and it has a hole inside. And this is the same frame, uh, it's got a hole inside. So then from there, I'm working this, kind of like developing a formula on, on like, how can I stretch this concept, right? The shape, the, the idea of the composition, the, the painting itself. This one is making a parallel uh, with the offset or off center. And then this one is the frame, no hole, and then inset on the wall. Work the whole concept until you take one and you express the same. Take something out and to be able to express the same. These are basically, um, they're pieces of steel. You work them over with, well, a drill to make the hole. It seems like a grinder. It seems like maybe some acids or something like that. I don't know what your actually palette is there. I haven't actually touched them and looked at them very closely. So if I found that thing on the street, I would say, wow, this is freaking beautiful. But I might be, ah, it's kind of heavy. Facundo did these wonderful shadow paintings literally all over the world. He even used GPS to actually locate where they were and incorporate them into the final work. Here are a couple of examples. Take a look. These are made with futon canvas. And uh, because they are traveling uh, uh, paintings, the concept of having a futon canvas, it's, it's, uh, it adds a nice twist to it. The canvas was dropped on the this, on this sidewalk and outlined the the, the the shadow with a paintbrush. And then the more technological, more um, uh, um, square uh, part of it, which is the location is added to. So let's turn off the light. And, and as you can see in here, when you add a glow in the dark paint, it gives you the location of this painting. 38, 46, 49 North, 75, 07, 09 West. So if you set up your GPS to this uh, location and 
if you bring the canvas and you put it on the sidewalk, unless a building has been demolished or this permanent urban object has been removed, this shadow will still be there. It helps people, it, it, it incentives people to engage in a journey. Brilliant. And then when the light goes off, when the luminosity of the paint goes away, it just looks like an abstract painting. Like You know, the, the problem with so much abstract art is that there is this whole internal process. If you're lucky, the artist has an internal process. Exactly. And there is some great abstract art. Most of it is junk and most of it really, it just doesn't touch the viewer because it's so remote what's going on inside this person's mm -hmm. head and so forth. This is actually clearly connected to the world. Your artistic vision is equally in there. But, and the one thing I love about these GPS coordinates is it really establishes it in the real world. It has that effect of completely suspended in space. I don't want to leave this space without pointing out this beautiful lamp. And this is what I knew pick for Kundo for, and oh my God, I'm, yeah, pick it up, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> This thing weighs a ton. I was coming out of the West Side Highway, like it's somewhere in like 40, in the 40s. Come out and there's like this curve and this guy <laughs> slam on the brakes, pick it up. I pick it up, <laughs> throw it in the car and just take it with me. And I had it sitting around in my shop for one year. And then one day I stumbled on this piece on the ground while I was doing another job. And I say, this piece, is here is going to work great and so i insert it in there and then you know then just make made it float wait how does this go on and off it's a ten dollar switch amazing so you yeah. touch the piece of metal and it cycles through yeah. different brightnesses yeah oh, for the record i have issues with people liking my switches more than liking my lamps <laughs> <laughs> so these are by far my favorite uh, paintings in here these are um, golden rectangles made out of lead. You're talking about the golden rectangle, the ratio of the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, five. the Greek ratio mm -hmm. of yeah. five, um, mm -hmm. which is found all throughout nature, all throughout all kinds of things. Back to the wo what you are, where you are, this is lead. And by turning it into a piece of art, you may very well create an alchemic moment in where the lead uh, becomes the value of gold. I wanted to play on the concept of the transformation because that's what alchemy is about. The best uh, symbol of natural alchemy where you get a caterpillar and you make it into a beautiful butterfly. So these are butterfly wings. Uh, this is the little tail, the little drop that is on the bottom of a black butterfly uh, wing. What it is, is just a little cut out of that butterfly wing. This is talking about the outside of this. And you're also making a reference to alchemy. Yeah, you make a reference to alchemy, to, to like turning a, a whatever object, and you just give it a, a, put it in a situation where it is not what it was meant to be. Okay, wait, and I gotta stop you there for a second. What the fuck is this? What are don't these things? It, don't oh, break it. I'm, it's like, a plant. I'm like destroying a piece it's of a, art. It's a plant. They're typewriter keys. Okay. Yeah. Green I... typewriter keys. something up with this guy. This is a perfect grave, like a young adult would fit perfectly in here. Before he comes back, let's just open it quick. Ah, oh, Jesus, paper towel. Yeah. Well, you, know. you know, you're not supposed to be hoarding in this day and age of, you know, lockdowns and we're all I supposed to be I just went to Costco oh, yesterday. You came back, you came back. <laughs> and Frank's toilet paper. <laughs> In your kitchen floor, man. I thought you were like on our side. You... Hey, after I'm what's like, happened in the Capitol not... building, we I gotta have to go. go. We gotta go, man. <laughs> this 
is like some kind of drug, man. What did you give me? Shredded dollar bills. Shredded dollar bills. I'm not seeing shredded dollar bills. Yes, yes, yes. Look. Yeah, I see all of the engraving marks that it can't really yeah. be anything else. If I spend enough time and have enough glue, I, I can possibly have like a dollar that's, in my hand. That's my, that's my dream project. That's my dream project. I just don't have the time and the patience to do it. I'm, lo I'm seriously looking for George, George Washington's eyeball. It's strange. I seem to be seeing swastikas everywhere though. This is almost like looking at a crystal ball of America's future. So this is- Because America is, essentially doesn't exist or wouldn't exist if it so wasn't is, for the dollar. This is so, what, this builds the Federal Reserve shred them and make them into blocks. And then they sell those blocks in a museum. A friend of mine used to work for the Federal Reserve and he gave me a couple of inches of it. And since then, to some special people, I've been giving them a little pinches of this. And I'm seeing a perfect likeness of George Clinton right there. Oh my God, is that Harriet Tubman? They're projecting the future in shredded, He's, this is like the new bibliomancy. It's like a new drug. Facundo, I'm gonna have to move in with you. And I'm seeing more shit. You know, guys, who needs art? We have like stuff like this, you know? I mean, really. When you think about it, art's great and you can go so many places with it, but life is great too. And you find art and experience in so many places. Good night. Please like. Please subscribe and please ring the bell.